The public often holds traditionalism and order in high regard. Listen, the word is, is that Donald J. Trump's going to be here in a couple of minutes. That's the word. And so I think it's really important right now to let all of New York know that the Bronx is now MAGA country. Hold on, let's get serious. Let's get serious now. Let's get serious. Let's get serious. All through this country, Joe Biden and the crazy Democrats are destroying America. All through this country, they are raising prices more than you can afford. They are limiting our ability to actually make our own energy here in the United States so we can prosper. They leave our borders open and flood all of our cities, including New York City, with migrants who shouldn't be here. They are not leading on the world stage and our enemies are on the move. They are suppressing your free speech. They are lying to you. They are cheating you out of the prosperity that should be yours. But in about five months, there is one guy who's going to turn all that around. And he's the 47th president, Donald J. Trump. Byron Donalds vehemently criticizes this administration, blaming it for the chaos and disorder that plague our nation, pointing to economic instability and border issues as prime examples. He paints Donald Trump as the beacon of order and prosperity, a figure embodying the conservative values of stability and systematic governance. In his impassioned speeches, Byron Donalds exudes a fervent patriotism and nationalism. He accuses the Joe Biden administration of failing to safeguard American interests and sovereignty, portraying Donald Trump as the steadfast defender of American values and power on the global stage. This rallying cry for national pride lies at the core of conservative ideology. The public often champions meritocracy, where success is earned through individual effort and abilities. Byron Donalds himself, once a skeptic and now a staunch supporter of Donald Trump, exemplifies this journey. His sharp rebuttal of Joy Reid's comments as crabs in a barrel underscores his belief in individualism over collective identity politics.